Are you a sucker for criminal biographies or crime-based fiction? Did you love movies such as Once Upon a Time in Mumbai or Wednesday or Black Friday? Then this video is for you. Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Savarni and I make videos on book recommendation. Today's video is about this book which is a two crime-based biography and has 13 different stories written by former investigation journalist Husaini Zaidi. So the book is pretty diverse. It revolves around stories of 13 women hailing from different parts of India, from different timeline, whose background we're into, smuggling, black marketing, prostitution ring leaders, etc. But for today's video, I would be focusing more on Gangubai's story. Just a one-line introduction about Gangubai, she was a madam of a brothel in Kamatipura in the late 1960s and was a very powerful person about which we will be discussing later in this video. So basically, my cousin sister and I went yesterday to watch the Sanjali and Sally movie. I am a sucker for his movies. I think his movies are a piece of art and I absolutely loved Gangubai. And upon returning home, I tried my best to search more about Gangubai because I was so impressed by her character and the story and I wanted to learn more. Upon googling more about her, I got to know that her story is not historically documented. Rather, it's a legacy that has passed from generation to generation and it's people who know more about her. But I also got to know that there has been a book written called Mafia Queens of Mumbai and that book has 13 stories and Gangubai's stories is a part of that book. And I was so excited I went to Amazon but that book was out of stock so I decided to get a PDF for myself. And to my surprise that book is under 200 pages and it's a very easy book and I completed the whole book in like 12 hours because I was basically very excited and it was weekend I and I just couldn't hold my excitement. The book is very good and everyone should read it, especially someone who loves crime and also it has a lot of historic events involved and you will actually get to know more about our history. Also, you should know that this video is not spoiler free, like in case that this was not obvious enough. So the movie and book is very similar, like I would say that 80% of the things that I mentioned in the book, even the flow of the whole story, it's copied the same as in the movies and they have added a few things and reduced a few things. So the true story of Gangubai is even sadder than the movie and trust me, I was crying in the first one hour of the movie and after reading this book, I was even more sad. But anyways, uh, the story talks about Ramnik and her, like they were in love and actually Gangubai was in love and they eloped, they got married and then after a week, they spent in Mumbai, Ramnik sold her off for rupees 500 to a brothel owner. And though this book also talks a lot about her good points, it also talks about her wealth. Like she had the Bentley car and how she got that Bentley car, it is not mentioned in the book. Also, she was very wealthy. She had a lot of gold jewelry. She used to wear white sarees with golden borders. She had golden rim spectacles and even the golden tooth which has been mentioned in the movie. But all the source of her wealth was not really known, like quite not known to the people like how she earned a lot of money. And though the movie has portrayed her as someone who helped sex workers and worked for their benefit, and that is true, she indeed helped a lot of people. It is mentioned in the books as well. But at the end of the book, it is also mentioned that around 1000 girls worked under her. Over the time, people have tend to forgotten about the dark side of her personality, which I anticipate that might there be. And there was some really great incident that is mentioned in the book. When she met the PM and the PM asked her that why she is still continuing prostitution and she should leave it and have a better life. And to that, she answered, I would leave everything if, if you would marry me. And oh my god, that is such a powerful line. And then she told him on his face that it is much easier to say than to preach. And simply it meant say what you preach. And it was an eye opener even for the PM and for me as a reader as well. And I just loved how bold she was, how outwitted she was. The next difference in the movies and the book was about the Shopit Khan. So in the movies it was shown that he molested her just once and she went to Lala and he helped her out. But in reality, it happened twice. And after the second time, Gangubai really tried hard to get to know about his contact and from where he belonged and for whom he worked. And she clearly couldn't go to the police. She went to Karim Lala for help and at first, oh my god, that was so bold and actually so brutally honest, I would say, because she asked for help. And after that, she was like, if you're gonna help me, I can be your mistress for your whole life. 
and listening to this kareem lala got so angry and he was like i am a family man and don't dare to speak to me like that and then she said that i just want justice and i just want justice by any means and then he promised her that he would help her and upon seeing his nature uh, gangubai was so emotional she told him that after coming to kathiwara he is the first man under whom she feel protected and then he tied her rakhi and after that their brother sister relationship blossomed and it lasted for almost a lifetime the third difference between the movies and the book is in the movies it is mentioned that she just won one election and there was one big election happened but in reality as per mentioned in the book two elections happened and the first one was for local gharwali so local gharwali is in hayaki is a person who actually looks into around 400 beds or something and then there is bade gharwali to whom the local gharwali is report and she actually ruled the whole kathiwara area for around 16 plus years and there was around 1000 sex workers who actually worked under gangubai and this is a huge power so by this we have reached to the end of our video i really hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below any more book videos or any bookish vlogs or any book challenges videos that would that you would like me to make see you soon in the next one bye bye